What is going on you guys? My name is Roger Five Ten. today we are back with another Fortnite video. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of good support on my last one, but today we're going to be going over a couple tricks and tips to what I think you guys should do. We're going to be going over a top 15 tricks that you guys want to use to become a better player in Fortnite. Um, hope you get some of your first kills, your first win. I mean, I know I didn't get my first win till a while after playing Fortnite, but now after I get a, a win, it's still like, oh wow, it's still like, it's still kind of rewarding. But um, basically, one of the first things you're going to want to do as soon as you hit the ground is harvest. It may not seem important, but you're going to want to. See, you're also going to want to get some guns, so go through a bunch of stuff. And um, if you guys have a headset or something, be sure to use it because I heard this chest immediately and knew where it was. Um, another thing you guys want to make sure you have is full health. Even if you guys don't really need it at the moment, keep it. Because what you're, it's going to help you in the long run. You're going to want to have it just in case you get into some fights. Another thing, you're going to want to have some kind of explosive, you know? Because after you have your guns and your meds, you're going to want to grab grenades, grenade launcher, RPG, um, whatever you guys want, you guys can have it. And even though, as I'm going along the game, I'm still getting some wood and other stuff like that. But um, if you guys have like explosives, say somebody's building a base, um, you guys can just pretty much bomb that shit down. Because and then you'll have the advantage to pull out your AR or something or your shotgun and just kill them. Now for my third trick, what I want you guys to do is if you guys don't have a too high of a sensitivity but um mine is um right now wait well, let's go back up to the top my sensitivities are where the hell are my sensitivities guys oh well what you guys want to do is have your sensitivities relatively high because you're going to want to like if you get into a build fight you're going to want to be able to do something like this and put that down and then kind of get the high grounds and then say you're doing that and you can have a high ground of a couple stories and just completely get a kill um, another thing I want to give you guys is, is be sure to play like if you're not really good be sure to play in big groups like I'm not saying that I'm a bad player but I'm not really that good at Fortnite um, you're probably asking, well, how the hell are you giving me these tips? I'm, pro I'm like, I'm pretty good, but I'm playing in these big groups because then I could be revived. Um, then I can, I can also, there's going to be big groups coming out your big group. So within those big groups, you're part of your big group and you can get kills out of that big group. And I've never seen big groups so many times within like 10 seconds. Even now at times, I'm still, still getting materials. And this is one um, I'm using right now is like, I'm just using that to jump up um but yeah um i just had to scratch the last clip so if you if you guys don't know how to do this um i'm pretty sure i already showed you guys but all you have to do is pretty much it's the pyramid hold your button to edit take off two of these and just flip it so now going up you can just do this and if that happens Pretty much all you guys have to do is edit it and you're going to want to be good at editing your things because say somebody's coming to you you're going to want to you're going to want to keep yourself moving in that build battle and um another thing you want to realize is your time to get to the storm like you're going to want to get to the storm as quick as you can and i don't really have anything written down so i'm just going to i'm just going to give you guys tips and analyze what i'm doing throughout this video you know, so you see right now, I'm still harvesting because who knows, maybe I'll get into a build battle and I'll have to pull some of that stuff back there. Some of the stuff you guys already seen me do already. And um, yeah, remember you keep something like that because it's so much easier. See how quick those move? And um, yeah, be sure to organize your inventory too. Um, you guys can use mine if you want, but I have AR, SCAR, whatever, any type of shotgun some explosive, then shield, and then HP. That way if I need some of that shield or some of that health, I'm gonna be able to use those in a battle. And um, if you guys are wondering, well, what if I need, what do I need more? Should I use some shields or meds? You're gonna wanna use the shields more because 
whenever people are shooting at you, you're gonna lose shield a lot faster than you will lose your health, you know? Like when you're getting shot at, you're gonna automatically lose your health. But, I mean, you're automatically gonna lose shield, but you're not automatically gonna lose all your HP. You're gonna lose your shield first, so keep that, and you won't, I'm pretty sure you'll have a successful time. I'm gonna grab another med kit and uh, head out of here. And, um, yeah, so another thing, um, going up here, we're coming close to the battle zone, so be aware that you're gonna have a lot of fighting going on. So, uh, if I like kills, so I'm gonna take down this tree completely, but don't be taking down large trees. When people see that fall, like, suppose I was looking at somebody, excuse me, and I seen that uh, big old tree fall, I'm gonna start aiming over there and looking for him, and suppose they have a sniper, one, two, three, bam, you're gone, and you have to get sent back to the lobby, and I know how harsh that is. And, and to get your kills, make sure you guys know the differences between the colors, um, you know, gold scar, then purple scar, then blue AR, then green AR, then gray AR. You know, just the typical, like, things you guys want to know about your weapons. And, um, search ammo crates, you know? You're going to want to keep your, your uh, guns filled with ammo, you know? And if you see something like that, look around it. Don't get stingy. And check if you can edit it. If you can edit it, most likely your uh, teammate did that. And, uh, you can just go right past it because he ain't going to harm you if it's your teammate. So, uh, yeah, basically another thing to keep in mind is see right now I have full shield and I only have two but that's enough to get me back full shield although in a quick reset you're gonna wanna have you you're gonna wanna have you some uh you're gonna wanna have you some minis because those are gonna come intact first because I suppose you you can only shove in like 25 HP then uh you're gonna need some minis. Another thing, you guys see how we have a launch pad over there? If you have a launch pad, don't just throw it away. Because throwing it away will be a mistake in the future. And I'm not sure why nobody took that chug jug, but I'll do it. And, um, so yeah, see, once you're going through it, you're not really, like, you're kind of confused, you know. I haven't found anybody, but if you have a launch pad, be sure you keep that ready, but you need at least one in case somebody's shooting you down and you're like, oh shit, that's I shouldn't have got into that battle. Let's get the hell out. In that certain case, you're going to want to get out of there as fast as you can. And you might have to do that with uh, a launch pad because you're not always going to have some protection right there behind you. Getting kills or not, that's your decision. I mean, I generally like kills. So I could uh, really go for a launch pad at this point. Sadly enough, I don't have one. And uh, simply, before I know it, we have six people to kill. Which is really, really good. Now, I see, I've seen a drop go down over there and I'm uh, pretty concerned because there's people over here for me to kill and there's also an airdrop. Oops. Okay, that guy's dead. But, um, yeah, I want you guys to stay on top of everything. And you'll be pretty good. And make sure you guys see, I'm gonna keep ex I would be taking that explosive, but that guy just took it because I was trying to talk to my, uh, O5s here. And he doesn't give a shit. Um. So, yeah, but make sure you know what's, like, you're gonna want to have the best things. Um, see that grenade launcher? It's a better, ex it's an explosive. I didn't have any explosives. And I'm gonna shoot some of these in there. Just to see what kind of kills I can get. So, yeah, after those are in there, reload. Shoot some more, because we're ending everything in Tomato Town. So I think we should add some more red to the scene. And, uh, we're trying to look for these last guys. So, suppose you still have a launch pad. You're gonna want to launch pad around, try to find these guys. And uh, make sure you stay in the zone. I don't want you guys to get tripped out on the zone. There's one other guy. And uh, people will be shooting for no reason. So be sure you're aware of that, that they will be shooting a lot. They're just like trying to get that victory shoot. 
they're trying to get that victory shot where they're just trying to like use all their ammo because it's the end of the round. And I have a feeling I just got sniped at, but I also have a feeling it's my friend or like somebody on my team. Oops, let me grab that. So um, yeah, watch out for everything. Be sure to build because if somebody was actually sniping at me, I would not be enjoying the rest of that match because suppose I die. And um, also take high grounds whenever you can. It's number one. Take high grounds whenever you can. Um, I'm just doing some bullshit at this point. About to get shot down by an, a teammate. Uh, never mind. But see, I have high grounds. I can see so much more. And uh, yeah, so I'm ahead for that launch pad because this is a victory launch. Oh, I thought that was the enemy. So I'm pretty much going to try to stay on top of things. You guys see, I'm just looking around pretty much. I'm also going to hit this launch pad before I die to the zone. And get the hell out of here. And next thing you know, victory royale. Make sure you guys just pay attention to everything I said. Um, if you guys want me to make an updated tips and tricks video next, all you have to do is tell me in the comments down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. We just hit 4.1 thousand subscribers, which means so much to me. Tell all your friends to subscribe so we can hit like our end of the year resolution of 5,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. If you share it with five or more of your friends, DM me proof on Instagram, and I'll be following you guys back. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been Ron Channel 5. Peace out.